Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime, here at my next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode review. This one's going to be for Season 4, Episode 20, um, The Super Shredder, yeah that's the name of the episode, yeah, I thought it was like Attack of the Super Shredder, but yeah, Super Shredder, uh, we're back after a reasonably long hiatus, um, and yeah, I with this episode I'm not really sure how I feel about it. On one hand, I appreciate the show trying to do something very important in an episode that is not the finale. And that's something I've definitely criticized the show a lot for. Like, I definitely got the sense that they were afraid of doing anything outside of the finale. And I like what this did. It really emphasized what is one of the best aspects of the show. That being Splinter vs. Shredder. And the rivalry and the emotion behind that. And definitely, I suppose, emphasizing towards the start that something bad is going to happen to Splinter, potentially, is interesting going into this. But, they set it up so clearly that the the whole time throughout the fight between uh, Splinter and Shredder, you are kind of wondering, are they going to do it here? Is it going to be here? How exactly are they going to do it? And it's all about... Are they actually going to do it and commit to it, kill Splinter off? Because that's that's the, the the plot setup that they've kind of created at this stage. You've turned Shredder into a monster with him demanding that the mutagen be given to him. It's unstable and emphasizing in all of the dialogue that he has lost himself. He's become what he hates. He has, you know, the, the thing he's always been against is mutants and now he is one himself. And he's one of those mutants who, and it's, it kind of really changed his personality. He, he was a bit more kind of strategic, cunning, and now it seems a bit more about kind of brute force. But he's still maintaining aspects of the old Shredder. So the I I thought like the obvious plot that to go for here is, uh, Super Shredder kills Splinter, the turtles, um, Karai, everyone sees it. And this creates the thing for going into the finale and into next season. That the Turtles need to improve and they now have a incredibly emotional reason for wanting to take down the Shredder. Because fundamentally, their enemy is the Shredder because he is Splinter's enemy. As I've said like throughout all of these reviews for like a long time now, the Turtles don't really have arcs of their own. Like, they're in this episode, but they're not important to this episode, basically, at all. They're there because the show is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they're not important to what this episode is about. The only important parts of this episode are, basically, Karai, Splinter, and Shredder. Now, what they do next is going to be interesting, but as it is now, they definitely set up that the whole plot basically revolves around Splinter and Shredder. Uh, and to some extent, I, I liked what they did. The, none of the dialogue was, like, exceptional in terms of, like, giving you better insight into their relationship beyond what we know already. It's just that Shredder still thinks of Karai as a daughter and kind of blames um, Splinter for what happened. Um, and he thinks, like, because he raised her, that instantly justifies that I'm your true father. Why don't you care about me? Whereas uh, Splinter is the one who actually is her father and cares about her. And Karai seems very sad that she understands that. Um, so their dialogue really doesn't mean a lot. You'd basically just have have the fight happen. You know, you bring up basically references to all of their path conflicts and the backstory, like from the backstory episode that we got. And... You bring it all together in this final fight, but it's not much of a fight, and I don't really have a problem with that being the case. This is the debut of Super Shredder, and you wanted to make it out that he is super powerful. That there's really nothing any of our characters at this stage can actually do to fight him. He is just too defensively strong. The only way you can in any way do anything to him is just by getting some crazy amount of momentum and just kind of crashing into him is the only way to in any way move him. Standard kicks, punches, most standard weaponry is not going to do anything to him. Even 
Splinter, who's been able to get somewhat of an advantage over uh, Shredder previously with his uh, attacks, those attacks don't work anymore because of how just crazy powerful he is. And I like that, and they definitely emphasize with the animation in the fight that it's just this kind of hopeless battle, and the only thing that Splinter has left is to kind of guide Shredder to a place where n- none of like his family will see him die. And he just kind of accepts that, like, you killing me is kind of the final step in you truly being evil. And if you do it in front of everyone, you will show that to absolutely everyone. And and I like that. It's just something about them just in this episode not fully committing to just the plot. Like that, oh, they had to have Spl- uh, Splinter take Shredder down with him. And then cut away from that, that, oh, let's switch the focus of the story to the Turtles being pursued by, like, Bebop, Rocksteady, and all the other kind of villains. And whereas, really, the only thing we care about is what happened to Splinter and Shredder. Now, just because they did it this way, I I don't really know what direction they're taking. Because I can't see this being just a case of, like... Oh, this is what killed Splinter because they landed, Splinter died, and Shredder survived. Because then you have to have kind of these weird scenes where, like, you just establish that he died and, like, he, one of them didn't. And so you either have to do it where, like, you commit to the death of both of these characters or both of them survive and we continue this battle. I just can't see it going one of the way where, like, Splinter survives this but Shredder doesn't but or, or the other way around. It's just, they've, I think they've almost written themselves into a corner where they just couldn't commit to the obvious plot point of, like, unfortunately, killing off Splinter. Like, I'm never really one within t- shows like this to, like, ac- actively ask the, the writers to uh, kill characters off for the sake of the plot. But this is one of those situations where... Everything is pointing towards it. It's like the only thing you can really do with the story now to make it impactful. You have to commit to uh, to something like that. And I just, just because of the way they did it and didn't commit to it. They had so many opportunities within this episode to just have the moment where Shredder kills Splinter. And they didn't do it. Even in the final moment where like it's basically implying that Splinter is dead. You still had to do it in a way where like, oh he took him down with him. That they just couldn't commit to the thing that you know makes sense to, um, and it's it's just that this show ca- just can't commit to a really solid move, because as I said, I think if they just had this episode be the death of Splinter the episode, and committed to that, this would have been a really impactful episode and marked a huge shift for the series that you've really heavily committed to, like hundred percent. You have killed one of the main characters and are now forcing the other characters, let's not forget, the main characters of the show are the Turtles, but they're like probably the weakest character development characters. The death of Splinter immediately changes that and fixes it. So that's my thoughts on the episode. Uh, I haven't really been focused massively on everything that's going on. The only other thing I'd add is just that they definitely are setting up something with April going forward. That was the, the thing in like the last couple of episodes as well. But they emphasized like her power and the crystal a lot more in these episodes as well. And so they're definitely going down some sort of a road where if anything big is to happen, it's going to be in relation to April. But yeah, that's been the episode review. In the comments, let me know what your thoughts were on the episode. Um, but other than that, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.